cleaned it up, decided to put it out for the new year. Okay, this is the second setting. The only thing different here is that I changed the napkins, the lap napkins and the uh, napkin rings here. And these are the glasses that I did bling for this particular table at the bottom because I didn't want it too matchy-matchy, but since I was going in the bling direction, I decided to just go ahead and bling the bottom of these out. And this actually goes on the other side over there. Okay. This is the front of my centerpiece. This boxwood ball at the top. Reuse uh, the deer salt and pepper shakers. And this little beauty here, I actually got it at uh, Kirkland's. It was a part of the Christmas sales. And originally they were $19.99, but for the after Christmas, you can get it for five bucks. They're really nice. It's a smoke gray base. And right now I just have a candle sitting in there because I did have that lit before I put this on. So after the video, this will be gone and I just keep my candle in there that I light for the dining room area. Okay. Same setting here as you saw on the opposite side. So from here on out, all of my table settings will be um, a setting for four. Unless I'm having something and I need to put the leaf back in because I need more seating for uh, more guests. But otherwise, it's normally just like this. And here, I just placed the New Year's bubbly, the champagne, inside of one of the candle holders, actually. That's a Z Gallery dupe that I showed you guys in one of the previous videos. And here, I just hung the um, bottle stopper with the deer antler, with the deer head, with the antlers. I just hung it right carefully right on top of there, and that's where they would sit until it's time to make use of them. So, thank you guys for watching, and I pray that you guys have a very blessed, very awesome 2020. Don't let anyone distract you from your goals. Don't let anyone make you feel smaller than. Don't allow anyone to take you to a place I'm trying to put the chair back in here guys uh, don't let anyone just take you out of character do what you need to do get your grind on but always acknowledge God before you do anything because the word says acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path when God does something for you no man can shut it down no man can stop it. Not even you when you think about it because it's his plan for your life that's going to come to pass. And I don't know about you guys, but I always want what he has for me to come to pass in my life versus what I want. You know what I'm saying? Because when he does it, it's permanent. You know, when we do it, it's good temporarily. But somewhere down the line, we have a tendency to mess things up when we try to control things ourselves. That's just what we do. That's how we are. So the best thing is to give it to God. Let the Holy Spirit tell you what he needs to tell you when it comes to direction and giving you instruction. You know, ask God. You know, he said, those who have an ear, let them hear. Let that be a part of your prayer. I don't believe in making resolutions, but just ask him. Lord, give me an ear to hear what you have for me, what you need me to do. And watch how your life will change dramatically. I mean, it's, it's those who know, know. Those who don't, I encourage you to get to know him, seriously. But I'm going to get off my preaching pedestal now. But at the end of the day, I just want to wish you guys a very blessed, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. A very blessed 2020 and look for things and opportunities to bless someone else because we are a blessing we are blessed to be a blessing so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and end this video I love you guys I thank you guys for stopping by to take a peep um, like 
comment, share, subscribe. And I'm on a journey. One of my goals this year is to bring more videos to you guys, not just tablescapes. I thank God I'm going to be in a position where I can actually do more with this channel to bring you more interesting content. You know, content that's funny, that's helpful, you know, that's upbeat. And one of these days, I might get in front of this camera for you. <laughs> you never know. So in the meantime, once again, you guys, have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next video.